All right, welcome to the show, and welcome back to another tutorial. Um, this one is not Tutorial Park once again. Um, this is actually a restaurant that I was building for Serenity Now, my tropical sandbox park. Um, funny story, so um, I was on Facebook and this new small um, Planet Coaster group uh, came to, I think there was only like maybe 10 to 15 uh, people in the group and th it started, I think it was last week and I joined it just to see what it was about and right as they started they decided, hey, let's have a competition. So, you know, just coming off the mini park competition, I was like, all right, that was a lot of fun, you know, what are they going to do? So they decided to do a restaurant competition. So they, the rules were you had to make your own restaurant, you know, yada, 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 custom, can't take anyone's stuff, whatever. Um, but you only had a week to do it. So I think it started like Monday and then the, the finish date is Sunday, which I think will be yesterday with this recording. I think this is coming out Monday. Um, so I, I made this restaurant uh, within one, pretty much one day. I made it all on Saturday and got it done. So I noticed that like most of the people, I guess, were on PC. So they were um, putting their, their restaurants through on Steam, I guess. And I contacted the one person who's in charge and he's like, I told him, I was like, hey, I'm on, you know, console. And they're like, oh, okay, you could just, you know, upload a whole bunch of pictures and then, you know, put it here. So I, I guess, I don't know who judges, but I guess someone would judge. So funny story is I finished the whole entire thing and I cannot find the group. I don't remember what the name was. I tried looking everywhere. So <laughs> I was going to make a restaurant for Serenity now anyway. So it's not like this is going to waste. And, you know, now I'm using it as tutorial video for you guys. Um, but <laughs> I would have liked to enter the competition. I, I, I mean, I'm recording this on Sunday, so I'm gonna look again today to see if I could find the group to post this in order to, you know, get in the competition, but I have a feeling it's not gonna get in. But it's not a big deal. It was fun to build this, and like I said, I got this video out of it, and it's gonna be in an up upcoming Serenity Now video, so, you know, it wasn't it wasn't at, it done to waste, so I'm actually gonna use this. Um, but starting things off, uh, if you notice, I just made like a, a rectangle outline with, um, uh, you know, like the, the base brick. Uh, now I already had the restaurant in mind. It was going to be a brick oven pizza, uh, and it was going to be named to my buddy Darren, who's Kemp 1969. I think it's 1969. Um, he wanted a, um, a restaurant inside Serenity now, and he's, you know, he said he actually cooked. He cooks pizzas. He actually makes pizzas brick oven style. So I had the idea. I was like, all right, you know, I'll make a brick oven pizza restaurant. Not a big deal. Um, and name it after him. So the reason that I used the brick on the bottom was, you know, for the the brick oven pizza, I guess, idea. Um, you know, that's the only reason why the, the bricks are kind of there. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't use brick on, um, you know, this building because it's more of a, a just a tropical kind of building. So... Um, you know, that's what I did. Um, if you noticed in the beginning, um, I originally had um, the actual, it, it has a real restaurant. You could see it in the back a little bit. It has a real restaurant for, uh, you know, the guests. So they will walk through this. Um, I originally uh, had it not outside the building. I had it inside the building, but then I didn't want to like cover up the whole entire thing. So I just thought it would be easier to put um, a door on the wall and then the guests would walk through that door. So, you know, I just made a pathway uh, through the middle of this this whole entire room and, you know, now I'm going to have to figure out how to decorate it but then still leave the pathway open so, like, you know, the people don't walk through tables and, you know, whatever I decide to put in here later. So, you know, you, you kind of got to plan ahead a little bit like that. Um, you know, I just didn't want another rectangle um building so I made this like little entrance way that you know comes out a little bit and it's it's the the same lime plaster style um you know so it kind of matches and um you know I think it kind of makes a, a pretty cool like entrance way I guess um like here like I said this is where I'm kind of deciding uh, what door to use um to actually get to the restaurant 
um, that the guests will actually use in game. Um, kind of struggled this a little bit. Uh, I didn't really know what I wanted. Like, <laughs> like many YouTubers, like I, I'm sure they all have plans and ideas. And like I tell you guys all the time, I literally wing everything. So I built this this whole entire thing on Saturday with just a mind idea of going. All right, I'm going to build a restaurant that's brick oven style and pizza. And <laughs> that's pretty much it. Like. I had Hawaiian pizza in mind for tropical. It's like Hawaiian pizza makes sense, and that's it. And I just kind of went with it, you know. Um, I kind of like building like that, you know. I do change uh, a lot of things a lot of times when I build like that. Like I'll look at it, I'm like, ah, oh, it's pretty good, and either I'm build something else or walk by it or do something, and you know, um, I just look at it and I'm like, ah, oh, that should be changed or this should be something else, or whatever. So. You know, there's a lot of times I do change stuff. Um, this right here is going to be the floor. Um, if you don't know, this is in the Ghostbuster pack. I believe this is like a, I guess like a fake wall. Um, they have like um like a whole, I guess like cardboard cutouts of like backdrops of stuff. You know, for the Ghostbusters, um, the Ghostbuster pack. So I think this is one of their like fake walls or something like that. But I thought it looked like a really good tile floor, so that's what I'm using it for. Um, I don't want to, I, I just want to cover a little bit of it, you know, because I have to start planning out, um, heights and everything of everything that I'm going to start building inside this restaurant. So, um, you know, I put some floor around, but I won't cover it up completely because I have to remember where the actual path is going to the real restaurant in game. So I got to make sure I don't start covering the path with, um, you know, like tables and decorations and stuff like that. So basically the floor is just helping me to start getting um, like heights and stuff like that, which I will figure out later that most of the stuff is too tall and I just start sinking the building and then everything else down as well. Um, I had the idea of having like um, some sort of um, like uh, visible kitchen, I guess. Um, you know, like it's, it's not like a quick service kind of thing where you walk up and get your food. Um, this is more like um, they'll cook the pizzas here, uh, you know, in front of you, in front of the, you know, like you'll see the brick oven and stuff like that a little bit later. I'm sorry. Um, but like, you know, other stuff like maybe pasta and, um, you know, bread and stuff like that. They'll make that all in the back kitchen with that door. That door will represent like that back kitchen and stuff. And like maybe... You know, if you want to think about it, maybe that big door that actually leads to the restaurant, you could just pretend it's a bathroom. I might even put like a bathroom sign on it, you know, just so it would seem like the people, the guests are actually sitting at the tables and not going there uh, to go eat. So, yeah. So then here, you know, I'm just trying to figure out like a countertop. Um, you know, I, ha I had the idea of like having this like open viewing thing. Um, so you could see like the actual cooks, like, you know, make the pizza and stuff like that. But I would figure like there would be some kind of, uh, countertop to display maybe some of the, the pastas and, you know, some of the other stuff they make, um, you know, that like they would make them in the back, but they would bring them up here. And then like, you know, when you order them, the waiter or waitress would go up and, you know, tell the cooks what they need. And the cooks would actually, you know, get your food from here, maybe heat it up. And then, you know, give it to the actual um, uh, waitress waitress and waiters and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so now I'm just, like I said, I'm just making the, the countertop. Um, and, you know, obviously the, now the door's in the way, so I got to move the door. Um, but, yeah, I, I really like how this, like, comes out. Um, you know, I think, <laughs> I can't remember what I recorded. So, like, I was trying to do this, like, build style again where I fast forward. I think I like doing this for, like, tutorials so you can you guys can kind of see, you know, what I'm doing and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, this is where I realize everything's too tall because, like, that's the animatronic. And, you know, the animatronic is actually taller than guests uh, by a little bit. So, if they, it's too tall for the animatronic, it's, it's a lot tall for the guests. So, now I'm just going to try to sink everything down. Um, but we end up making, like, you know, the... Um, you know the pizza oven back here and like i said like the pastas will be back here and some of the other stuff they make um i just use like you know different candies and stuff like that um and then like i'll end up making a soda machine later which i think i make off camera um but as soon as like you know all this is like done and stuff like that 
Um, I will take like a, a little once over and, and show you everything I added, you know, inside um, and what I did. So don't worry about that. If I, if I didn't film it, it's not a big deal. Um, I did know I did notice in my um, I'm actually filming this after I put the video in in the editing so that I noticed that I was missing walls on the second layer of the roof. So I'll probably have to go add a second wall in like a really small one before we go back to the end result and uh, and talk about everything. But um, yeah, I just had like, you know, I just wanted to make it look like it was tough because like I said, I wanted the bricks to be in it because it's a brick oven pizza. But then I also wanted like the tropical feel because it is Hawaiian, uh, Hawaiian style pizza. So, you know, it was kind of tough trying to mix and match the boat, both of them. So I think I did a pretty good job with it. Um, here, I, I, you have such a limited supply of, of tables to use in the game. There's not many. Um, could I have made my own tables? Yeah, but Serenity now is like, I'm throwing so much detail in there now. The, the, the counter is, the piece counter and Oswald counter is kind of killing me now. So for me to make some custom chairs and some custom tables, I don't, I don't think it was the greatest idea in the world. Would it look cooler? Probably. I probably would have got, you know, way better tables and chairs. But, you know, like I said, I got to start, you know, figuring out where I could save some pieces here and there. And obviously, this is one of them where I could save some pieces. Even though this whole entire interior gets decorated and it gets decorated with, um, you know, people sitting at the tables and the tables having pizza on them. So it's, it's not like I skimped out on anything. I just did make some custom tables and chairs, so it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, I'm already like, I think it's, what is it, 19, 18? I'm 18% 18 in. I don't even know if this climbs to 19 when this thing's done, but I'm 18% in with one flat ride and that's it. So, you know, we, we still got a lot to build, so I'm gonna have to save some pieces wherever I can. Um, but yeah, here I just kind of make uh, the outline of, of tables and then I'm just like copying them over again. I'm just making sure I don't go in the path, in the pathway, you know, that's why I left that open like that. So like, you know, the guests don't walk through these tables and stuff like that. So, you know, now I kind of have like limited space of where I can put them, but it's, it's totally fine. I, you know, I'm not going to sit and make a, a grand restaurant with like 40 tables. It's, you know, that's just going to kill my peace counter. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, uh, I don't know. I don't even know what else to say. Like, I guess everything else kind of self-explanatory. I think I'll let this roll for a little bit. And then the second part of this film is going to start with outside. So maybe I'll come back for that uh, for a little bit. And then, like I said, I'll be back at the end explaining kind of everything I use and, you know, whatnot. So enjoy the rest of the build.
poof, I'm back. Um, all right, so we kind of finished the inside. You can actually look through the window. I did a little more off camera than I showed, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Um, so out front here, I just figured this is going to be maybe alongside of a, a path or something like that. So I kind of wanted a little bit of um, you know foliage and scenery in front. Um, nothing crazy. I just thought it would have be cool to have maybe like this little tiny rock feature and you know um, some running water and stuff like that. I feel like that's like a, a good look and a good feel to have for like I guess like tropical. I, again I don't know this is my first tropical park so I'm just kind of seeing what works and seeing what doesn't. Um, but I, I did like this idea of you know the the rock fountain or whatever it is and then I noticed um, you know I was like ah, maybe I should have it like fall into water Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, fall in the water, and it would look, you know, a lot better. So it kind of, it kind of sucks that this game doesn't give you many options for like fountains, where this is like one of the only small ones. All the other ones are just huge. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. So like here, I decided, all right, you know, you know, I'll put this in. It's totally fine. The only problem with this like fountain, um, you can't change the color of this one. So. I just had to figure out, oh my god, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to like hide, you know, this, this like light tan color, whatever you want to call it, because it doesn't match anything. Um, so, you know, like I said, I decide to end up just putting like rocks and stuff over that. But here's just like a little, you know, a little uh, flower bed, I guess. And, you know, the dirt, the, the dirt they have in game for the actual flower beds will, won't fit. So I basically just, you know, add my own dirt with just these basic shapes and, you know, color it the brown and stuff like that. Most of it's going to be, you know, um, covered anyway with trees and, you know, some plants and bushes and stuff like that. So, you know, it doesn't really have to have like that, that real dirt texture that the in-game one has. It, it doesn't really matter, um, you know, unless someone's going to really like pull things apart and inspect it, whatever. It's, it's, it's fine. You're never going to see it. Um, yeah, like, I like the way this, like, turned out. Um, I'm not sure I'm gonna get that path in front of it like that. I might have to delete some of the path inside the building, and then when I actually put it in the park, I might have to, like, you know, put a path in front, line it up, and then actually bring the path from inside outside, and hopefully it lines up somehow, but, you know, we all know these, these paths in game are difficult to work with, so I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna have tons of problems doing it. Um, and I'll probably just give up and do something different. But yeah, here I'm just using these uh, deciduous rocks. I think that's what they're called. Uh, there's, only, there's only a couple. I think there's only like three small ones. So I just kind of use a couple and just, you know, keep twisting them around and spinning them. That way they really don't look like the same one. And, you know, you could overlap these smaller ones. So again, they don't look like you're using the same one constantly. Um, you know, and then just finish it off with this, this bigger rock here. Um, obviously this is going to go into like the, um, <clears throat> I think this is going to go into the, the path of the people, the uh, way it extends. Um, but I'll, I'll put something underneath it, like maybe a flower pot or something sunk into the ground so you can't see it. Um, and I don't know if you know, but that's another trick of having your guests not walk through things. The, like the pirate planter, um, planter, the pirate planter, uh, you could take those um, it's the same as like garbage cans and stuff. The guests will, won't walk through them um, in the most part. Like you can't, you know, make it so the guests, like if it's a narrow way, you can't just add it and they're not going to walk through it. They might walk through and clip it. But if it's like a big space and you have that planter, they will walk around the planter with not a problem. So like I said, if I have a problem later with, you know, adding the paths in front, I'll probably sink one of the pirate planters um, right where the water is, and that way they'll they'll walk around it. So that's not a big deal. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So here, <clears throat> oh sorry, I gotta <laughs> take a sip of some iced tea. <sighs> that's refreshing. <laughs> um, yeah. So like here, I just decided you know I wanted some trees, and it was it was really tough trying to find some um, smaller palm trees. Because I really limited myself on making this this planter. I probably should have made the planter a lot wider, <laughs> thinking thinking it through now. Um, but it's fine. I kind of like the look of the um, the rocks and stuff coming outside the planter. Uh, but here, I was just trying to find some some of the um, smaller palm trees to put in front. 
but I really don't like when like things clip through. So I was really, you know, going in and checking to see if they were, you know, the leaves and stuff were coming in. And if they were, I would, you know, angle them out a little bit like that to try to, you know, fix it so you don't get all that uh, clipping issue, which I, I kind of hate. So <laughs> I'll spend I'll spend more time, you know, doing like stuff that clips in and out of buildings that bother me than I usually spend with paths that really, really bother me. I just every now and then with the paths, I just give up and just like, ah, that's the path. That's where it's going. And then I just kind of build around it. I, I hate dealing with the path. Um, I won't fight. I won't fight it anymore. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but here you can see like there's some stuff that, that clipped through the wall on the bottom. So I'm going to end up, you know, moving some of this stuff. Oh, actually I moved the, I, I actually moved the walls in, uh, a hair. So, um, you know, you can't even see it from inside and stuff. Uh, that one that's in the corner kind of bothered me, but I end up just like covering it with a potted plant because that was going to be too much of a pain to actually move out. Cause then it, it stops lining up with the stuff outside so i kind of just you know like i said it, sometimes you just got to improvise so i improvise with one of those another one of those potted plants and i just kind of move it to the corner and it kind of you know distracts your eye and you probably won't see it um uh but yeah I'm, I'm really liking the way it looks uh you know i like the roof and stuff like that um <clears throat> not many roofs i could use to really go with um the tropical, like basically I have that, I have the thatch roof. Um, I'm sure I could use the wood roof as well, maybe color it a, a fun color. Um, but I like this roof here. I don't know if I'm gonna use, like this roof, this this building is gonna be in the, uh, the tropical area. So like there'll be, like I said, there's three areas in Serenity now. You'll have the tropical area, which that's the area we're building first. Then there'll be like some kind of adventure discovery area that'll be second and then one all the way in the back will be like some kind of mediterranean area so this will be in the tropical area so i feel like if i do build another um you know big bigger building over here i definitely won't use this roof like i don't want it to you know have the same roof over and over again so you know it'll definitely have uh, another building if i make it it'll have a different roof and stuff like that so i don't really like to you know make everything um seem like it's like copied over and stuff like that um but if you actually notice on the roof i did make like a uh you know an opening um again like we did in the main plaza of serenity now um the guest services building has an opening um with just like the um uh the wooden logs you know on top and you figure that'd be like a sunlight or something like that so i was actually putting in the glass and the glass wasn't fitting perfectly the way I liked it. And to be honest with you, it was gonna be a lot of glass just to put up there. And again, I thought about my piece counter and I was like, you know, is this really worth it to put like, you know, almost 20 pieces of glass up there just to cover it? Um, I'm pretty sure everyone could just use their imagination and just, you know, pretend there's glass up there and, you know, I'll save those 20 pieces and stuff like that for something else. Um, it's, it's not a big deal. I did put glass in the actual side windows. Um, so you could see like, you know, the, the reflections and like, I guess the sun glare and stuff when, you know, it hits, uh, the sun will hit it in certain angles. Um, but again, putting it on the roof was not a main concern for me. Like I said, I'm, I'm just, you know, you could pretend it's open. I'm not, I'm, pret I'm pretending there's glass on it. I'm just not putting it up there. Um, here, back here, you know, we had the actual, um, restaurant, it was sticking outside of the, um, actual building, so I had to make this little piece here, which I was already kind of planning on doing, because like I said, you figured there was going to be like a small kitchen, um, you know, behind that door, uh, where the chefs are, that you figure, you know, that's where they're, they're cooking like the pasta and maybe, you know, maybe something else like back there, bread or something like that. So like, you know, you'd have to have some kind of smaller kitchen and stuff like that, or even like, you know, a supply room, like you need, you know, to put all the ingredients and stuff and stuff. So, you know, so that's what, you know, that is right here. Um, but again, it makes the building a lot more interesting and less of a, just a regular rectangle. You know, there's like this other rectangle in the back and you got the square up front. So it, it, you really, you know, helps not, it, it makes the building a lot more interesting and it, you're barely doing anything. Um, yeah, here I'm just putting some clutter in the back. Um, you know, why not have uh, biohazard cans in the place that people eat? <laughs> you know, that's that's just what I do in my parks. I try to add, you know, a little humor here and there. 
you know, I won't explain all the humor sometimes. I'd like, you know, the people to download my parks and actually see it. And then, you know, if they do catch it, you know, maybe they'll they'll chuckle or giggle a little bit. And that's that's good enough for me. Um, in one of my mini parks, I put like a little uh, smoking area uh, for the people who work there. And right next to the smoking area was a whole bunch of uh, flammable barrels. So, I, you know, I just do little silly stuff like that. Like, you know, I like to do this realism stuff like I'm doing right now, making, you know, wires off the AC units and stuff. But, you know, I still like to have a good time and laugh about it. So it's it's just a game. It's it's fun for me. Um, but yeah, I'm just thinking, you know, I finish up the back here. Um, not a big deal. So um, after this, it's only a couple minutes left in this of the build. Uh, and then I'll be back and I'm going to do like a, a little bit, a little, I guess, live tour of what I did. Um, and just maybe show you the couple things that weren't in this like quick build and then we'll probably wrap it up. So I'll see you in a minute. So this is the finished live preview, I guess. So up here, I just added the sign. Um, again, it's uh, my buddy Darren. This will be his place. So, you know, I just added these letters that I made and then I just kind of made them a little crooked and, you know, changed the color. So it looked, you know, I guess cool and interesting. Um, I guess we'll do outside first. Um, you know, just added these, these, um, you know, gates, um, you know, that the staff could probably go in and out of. It says staff only. I still forgot to do this wall in here, so it's not a big deal. I'll do it off camera. Um, that's that's his uh, Discord name and uh, kept 1969. That's his pizza. Um, so coming in here, you know, you just got your, I guess, your Maitre D. Um, you know, she's here. Um, I added these. These are those lights I've used a bunch of places, and uh, you know, I just called them green so they would be like, you know, her like the menus and stuff like that. And I guess she would have like the the, the, the table, I guess, seating chart or something there. Um, you know, just got the, the, some of the people sitting at the tables with cups. And I made them all like little tiny pizzas that are basic shapes. Um, don't look under the table because that's where all the basic shapes are. Um, yeah, I just changed, uh, if I showed some pictures online, but I changed the colors up to the, the pink, um, the pink and the blue to match the sign and stuff like that. You know, I figured these people are just getting the menus so they don't have anything yet. You got your waitress here. Um, I guess the if you ever watch the uh, Serenity Now videos, uh, the local police department showed up um, for uh, skeleton remains they found while digging. So, you know, they were done, you know, I guess working. They went over here to grab a bite to eat. 
So that's why they're here. Um, made this soda machine. Um, you know, I saw some references that people used and kind of just made my own. Um, and then I just, you know, made it. I, it's all basic shapes. And those are the TV screen holders that are, you know, coming out. And then those are just the Ghostbuster um, vents um, that would be like, you know, at the bottom that catch all the overspill. You know, some cups. You got your pizza here. Um, then back here, we got all our chefs. I'm guessing they're chefs with chef hats on. Um, and then again, like I said, I was just putting out like, uh, I guess like pastas or whatever they would have. And I didn't have much to choose from. So I just used some of the candies and cookies and shrunk them down. And it's not a big deal. You could use your imagination. Um, and there's our, our brick oven pizza. Um, I was going to go into a little more detail on the top with, you know, the uh, the chimney and stuff coming out. But to be honest with you, again, how to save some peas count. So uh, I thought that came out pretty cool. And then, you know, you got to have a little, I probably should add a little water in there. All right. So maybe, maybe I'll add water or some gray at the bottom of it to, to show that it's an actual sink and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I think this came out really well. Oh, the curtains too. The curtains are just flags. I just recolored. Um, yeah, that's it. If you actually look at the floor, so the carpeting is out on the sides and stuff like that, but the pathway for the guest will still be like, you know, right down the middle like this and then right to this back door, which will lead to the actual real restaurant. But it'll probably be like the bathroom. I probably put like a bathroom sign over it. Um, so I have a couple more things to do. Like I said, the bathroom sign and this wall up here, there's, there's no, there's no wall here. So I'm going to have to add a wall right here and, you know, finish it off. But, um, yeah, I really like the way it came out. I don't <laughs> pretend you didn't see those. They're just hanging. Um, yeah, I like the way this came out. It was, it was really fun. It kind of sucks. I didn't, I'm not going to find that competition to enter, but it's fine. I enjoyed building this and, you know, now you guys get to see, uh, you know, how I built this and, you know, how I make some some of my interiors i'll do more interiors maybe i'll do like a gift shop interior coming up and stuff like that so you know i'll get to more interiors if you have anything else you want to see on tutorial uh leave a comment below on what you need help with or what you would like to see or what you would like to see me build that i build um yeah but leave a comment below uh leave me a like uh if you please subscribe it would really help me out I'm trying to grow my channel and, you know, I'm, I'm hoping, you know, I can got, give you guys as much entertainment as I can. So, um, a subscribe, a like, a comment, that would all help. And, um, yeah, just let me know what you think and I guess I'll just see you in the next one.